What is up guys? This is Casey's Reviews, my first video, and tonight I watched The Menu, which was recommended by my cousin Brady, and this, this is the, first we'll do a section of no spoilers, and then a spoiler section, so if you haven't seen the movie, um, I'll let you know when to stop watching this. Um, yeah, so like I said, my cousin Brady recommended this. I knew nothing about it before I started watching. Um, some comments about this. I thought that the movie was shot very well. Um, the camera work was great. Um, I thought that the characters were all written and played very well. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Ray Fiennes. Ray Fiennes is amazing in this movie, as he is in most of his. Um, I think that he plays the villain very well in any movie. Voldemort, amazing. In Bruges, whatever that guy's name is, really good character. Um, so he plays the villain or the person who's supposed to be the villain um, very well. Um, I love this guy. I want to watch more of his movies. Um, I thought that the story was very enticing from the beginning, just because it was so weird. Um, and the weirdness just made me want to keep on watching. Um, and you definitely want to watch a movie. Um, uh, you definitely want to keep on watching this movie. And that's, that's how you know it's a good movie. Um, so yeah, I couldn't recommend it more. Um. Honestly, I'm, I would be mad if I was one of you knowing any information about this movie before going and watching it, but um, that this will conclude the no-spoiler section, so if you haven't watched the movie, I would either pause and go watch it and come back, or stop right now, so... Okay, now for the spoilers, first I'll start with some questions that I thought that I had. Um, why was Tyler so obsessed with the place, so enthralled with what was going on? Um, was he jealous of the chef? Probably. Um, as it showed later, he thought that he was some kind of connoisseur, um, and that's probably why he was brought there in the first place, um, just to get embarrassed uh, so I also was confused about this. Was Margot slash Aaron an escort? Uh, it was kind of unclear. It seemed like they were dating, but she wasn't his girlfriend in not that long ago because there was some other woman supposed to be coming there with him. So she wasn't an, on the menu, uh, like they would say in the movie. Um, I also thought... For a while, it was interesting why Julian killed himself. But then I thought back to... Well, I went back and read his last um, dialogue right before he catches himself on fire. And he talks about how all the people he brought were... This isn't a direct quote, but they were like... In a way, part of his downfall, you have... Um, the food critic who destroys restaurants. You have the rich couple who's been there 11 times. You have the idiot food connoisseur who thinks he knows what he's doing, but he sucks because he can't actually make food. Um, and you have the three business partners who um, they are, I forgot the guy's name that they drown, but they're involved with him, and he hates that guy, so he hates them too, I guess. Um, I'm kind of just coming up with these thoughts right now. And then uh, you have the actor and his assistant. Um, don't really know why they're there, to be honest. Maybe it's because he's past his prime and pretended that he knew the chef even though he didn't um I just thought it was 
I, for a while, I was thinking, like, why of several menu nights, like, this is not the first time. This is the first time everyone dies. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Um, so in comments now, uh, I thought that it was cool that Margot slash Aaron got to leave. And um, I think it's because she was not on the menu in the first place. And uh, because she brought back good memories from Julian in the fast food restaurant, um, back to his roots. And I think that went a long way for him and he let her survive. Um, and it's also so weird to me that the staff want to be there. I don't know what Julian did to them, if he brainwashed them or whatever. Um, especially Jeremy, because he killed himself. It's just so weird. The girl that he tried to sleep with three years before or something. You know, like maybe it was three months, four months. Why does she want to be there? Makes no sense. Um, also, the mess. Holy crap, that really caught me off guard. I could not believe that that happened in the middle of that movie. I was not... Exp I, I mean, I thought it was weird. Like, they all sleep in the same room. They shower, no curtain. That was weird. And it was just all odd. But then right there boom kills himself none of the staff care it's part of the menu um that was really weird to me um but crazy and pretty satirical in general like the whole movie um i thought it was it definitely was better than i expected um so thanks brady for recommending that to me um shout out firehouse subs I'm the fire chief. Um, call 911, I'll be there. Uh, so, yeah, the menu, great movie. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you want to follow me on Letterboxd, you can follow me. My, I'll put a link in the description. Um, Casey Herzma. Yeah, I watch a lot of movies. I'm in a couple movie classes right now that I have to watch a lot, a lot of movies for. So. And getting really into movies and watching a lot of movies so hopefully i'll be making a review like this for all of those and thank you for watching